Welcome home, Rat Pack. Marcus here, and welcome to Comfort Cartoons, the show where I collect absolutely everything from the late 90s, 2000s, all the way to the modern day. And I'm also trying to create the world's biggest SpongeBob and the world's biggest Nickelodeon collection. But not just that, the creator and CEO of this channel happens to be half Sea Bear. <laughs> But I hope you beautiful people are having an amazing day and if you guys aren't you know the drill Krabby Patty camera flip It's about to get a whole lot brighter cuz your boy is here But today guys is gonna be an amazing goofy goober day Because we are going to be going on a hunt We are going to Walmart today and we are gonna be looking for a bunch of the stuff we love Of course, we're gonna be looking for the sponge But not just that since we can still find some of it some TMNT stuff as well They have TMNT food. They have TMNT mac and cheese. They have TMNT path water They've got even TMNT yogurt that we're looking out for but not just that Walmart has dropped a bunch of new Spongebob merchandise that I can't wait to find before we do any of that we're actually gonna be doing a small little stop at Target because you guys know our vibrating plushie collection Plankton wake up it's film time yeah it's, it's ever growing and they have Ren Stimpy Reptar and Spongebob available. Will we find any of those? Probably not. We're gonna try our best. We're gonna stop by Target and see if we can find one of them. Since they keep rotating the stock out, I'm hoping we can just pick up one of those guys at the store and it would be incredible to find one. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and hop into the car, head over to Target, then head over to Walmart. Okay, so we're gonna go look for the plushies and I already see a good sign. I see a sponge over Ooh, there. Right? SpongeBob Imagination? Right behind if you see the Nickelodeon Ooh, logo. what is that? So we have the Stimpy here. They actually have the Stimpy. Is, is this Ren? No, this oh. is this is E.T. <laughs> oh no, get out of here. <laughs> he should have pulled on a long time ago so Ren could have came. But <laughs> we actually found the Stimpy, dude. That is so sick. <laughs> dude, look, he has a booger in his- <gasps> Oh, it actually <laughs> comes out. That is too cool. That is incredible. Kid Robot is going crazy with these. Okay, we gotta take his battery out, but dude, he is adorable. He's got a tongue that sticks out and an actual retractable booger. They literally have gone crazy, like you said. They have just killed it with this plushy series. We're still looking out for the Ren one, but we found the Stimpy one. So now all we need for this set, there's Ren, there's SpongeBob, and then there's a Reptar one. That's the last three we need for this series. So we got the Stimpy here. We are, of course, picking this up before we head over to Walmart. I don't know if Walmart's gonna have anything better than this. Nah, I, didn't. <laughs> yeah. I don't think so. Yeah, but at least we found this guy. It's an awesome pickup. I'm so excited. It's like a baby. It's like, yes. <laughs> 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 All right, we're gonna head to Walmart with this guy. Okay, so we are in the refrigerator section. I mean, I don't even know what we're gonna find, but we already found an amazing find for today at Target. They do have the SpongeBob yogurt, which we already have, and there it is. There it is. Yes, they have the lemon lime. I'm gonna get two of them, because I wanna try it out too. They sound good, yeah. Lemon lime TMNT yogurt here. So this is the Great Value brand yogurt. So shout out to them for, you know, they're making some moves here. They're like, hey, yo play, you know, they can make moves, so could we. <laughs> so we're gonna get the Great Value TMNT yogurt. Not a bad price either for only two sixty. dollars so happy we picked this guy up. Literally start off with a banger at Target, picking up something sweet. And then we already got a very exclusive item here. This is going to be tough to keep in its container, but I mean, you've seen me do it before. It's only been out for two, maybe three days. I'm not eating that one. You taste it. Why just me? Well, because you're the one who left them out. Yogurt can hold. It can hold as long as you do. <laughs> oh, dude, they have freaking Paw Patrol cheese string. And then they have Princess one, too. They actually had SpongeBob string cheese. I'm glad you didn't see the other one. What was the other one? Oh, Mitchell. Mitchell. How are you going <laughs> to How are you gonna leave this? Those are good cheese sticks, I will say. Okay, well, don't you want them then? Not the minion ones. Oh, the Scooby-Doo ones. You're a liar, dude. You probably already have a case at home. <laughs> that's a why. Case at yeah, home. <laughs> that's why. But if you guys know, there is a SpongeBob string cheese, and if there's some other psycho out there collects food products that are uh, expired like me, then hit me up. I would love to get those uh, cheese strings from you. Or what do they call them? They're not stringed. <laughs> Just cheese sticks. Like cheese those. stick. Yeah. <laughs> that. They did have TMNT pizzas too, but we already picked those up. You guys can see the shorts we have on YouTube right now. They have Frozen 2, uh, Ice Pops, nothing else. Everything's uh, frozen here, all right? <laughs> yeah. No buns or TMNT stuff though. Keep it moving. The Ocean Man is coming in clutch. Yes, Ocean Man, Ocean Man. Mac and cheese, are it's only freaking 58 cents. Are you kidding me? Oh, yeah, are you joking? 58 cents? 
stuff is green? I don't know. Is this mac and cheese original? Is just a packaging of TMNT? The 58 cent is ridiculously dirt cheap. That is an amazing deal right there, dude. Like I said, Ocean Man came through. I love that licensed food is coming back, man. They have Gotham City S'mores oatmeal. This is not the breakfast that Gotham deserved, but it's the breakfast that it's getting. All right, looking back there, do you see a sponge? I see a bunch of Blue's Clues. I see a lot of Blue's Clues here, right? I don't oh, see an old Mickey right there. Oh, that's pretty not cool, but not what I'm getting. Do you see a sponge anywhere, huh? Is that a Krusty Krab hat right there? No, it's just a bottle top. <laughs> That's a Bob and wait, wait. I think I see a square head right there. Oh, dude, nice. There we hey. go. <laughs> Look at him oh. chilling out. Yeah, you found me. <laughs> Wait, what's up, fool? <laughs> All right, we're gonna pick this guy for sure. Okay, so we actually, they have samples now at Walmart? Walmart takes This feels like Sam's Club now, or yeah, Costco. Yeah, a little note on a Costco's book. So you have a Dunkaroo sampler here. I have not tried the new Dunkaroos. Clearly, you can tell by my fingers I've tried Cheetos. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but let's try the new Dunkaroo. Mmm. It's that Funfetti, like, cookie mix. It's just so good. They have chocolate ones now, too. It's pretty much just a Funfetti icing. That's what you want, yeah? <laughs> it's the Funfetti icing that's good, and the cookie's just kind of something to where you feel like it's a thing. Yeah. You're not just eating icing. But I could just eat icing, so I'm gonna give it a, I'm gonna give it a high score. Eight Shaquille O'Neal dunks out of 10. You just don't think a nasty dunk on them. Yeah, don't think no nasty dunk. And Mitchell got one too, but he didn't want to tell you. I had to hold my uh, camera here, so I was just like, <laughs> I gotta eat it now. <laughs> it is good. All right, now we're coming to the Walmart's collector section that never changes. It has the exact same things. Let's check it out. <laughs> wow. Why is this brand of soda in here? The soda that's in a container. We have this freaking everything that has this stupid octopus on it that ruins everything. Yeah, it's like, is this the only TMNT thing? Oh, you still got Michelangelo right here. Yeah, but it's also ripped up from this freaking squid they put on it. Pretty much nothing here, I mean. The coolest thing is not even cartoon related, it's anime, or I think it's cartoon but animated related, is these villains boxes from Van Presto. I'm glad that we got that SpongeBob rehydrated on PC because it's not here anymore. Yeah. It's not there. So there was like two left, so. Yeah, I mean, obviously some somebody, some people picked them up, so I'm happy that we got those ones. Nice pickup, too. But let's keep on looking around, see what else we can find. Usually Walmart's always pretty solid with DVDs. Maybe we'll find some awesome $5 pack DVDs, some complete series, you never know. We'll see. And then we also have to check the toys. We haven't even checked the toys at all yet. Not yet. Yeah. I and mean, we've already found so much, it feels like we did, but let's keep yeah. looking. We have the Funkos, which are the exact, almost, I feel like not even one thing like you know he was here he was here i would be willing to bet that nothing has moved an inch an inch since we were here last there okay you know what we're gonna do let's do this so we can remember next time this is black adam here i'm gonna flip him upside down and if that black adam is still upside down in two months of we film this i think we can confirm that walmart never touches this section or nobody buys like <laughs> maybe one of both of those things Okay, so we found SpongeBob missing one arm. And we, I don't see, like, we don't I think it's right here. Uh, I think there was an arm here. And someone's just got, like, oh, I'll take that. <laughs> got yanked up. We were gonna get it because we thought it was a misprint, maybe, or they just didn't print his other arm. But I think that it's just ripped right off. Here, yeah, yeah, there's a little bit of a line. <laughs> but it's just like, I looked at him, and I was like, something's off. It's okay, he'll grow it back. <laughs> What? That is so sweet. It comes Dude. in a three pack. Yeah. I'm gonna have to buy one of these myself. <laughs> the SpongeBob driver's license. That's too cool. <laughs> ID cards for only four dollars. That's not bad at all. Like this is one of those ones where it's hard to see because it's like you're used to the orange or the yellow. Yeah, that is sweet though. That is awesome. It has all of his correct information on there too. Definitely a pickup. Didn't know you had a grandson. Dude, I can get this for my grandson. That That's is so, cool. so sweet. Did you order a perfectly done triple supreme deluxe birthday? We'll order up. That is so cool. <laughs> yeah, my grandson's gonna love it. All right, let's go ahead and get this one. <laughs> okay, so this is the TMNT section that I came to, to actually. Dang, it's chips. huge. But I wasn't here to get merch that day, so let's see if we can find here if there's anything sweet that we can pick up. I gotta try these. How are these? They were, they were pretty good. I mean, all of them were solid. Most of them I wouldn't say I would eat necessarily again over like another chip brand, but they weren't bad. Which one was the best? The best one for me was the pizza. I love the pizza, pizza rings. rings. Yeah, those were really good. You should try out the pizza ones. All right, all right. All right, we did it. Mitchell's trying out the pizza rings. I gotta try one of them. <laughs> Ooh, 
There we go. I've literally been looking for this at every store so we can get the official Michelangelo nunchucks here. Perfect. This is this is the item I cut. I wanted the most Devil Ninja Turtle related stuff, honestly. I wanted the bus, of course. I wanted a few things, but this is what I wanted so bad. Even when we went to Spirit Halloween, we couldn't find this. So I hired to get them. Okay, here we go. That's Dude. What I'm about. Some more SpongeBob shoes. With Those the are little, insane. <laughs> with the little like charms Those on are there. Beautiful. It is adorable. Okay, that is a pickup. If we can find my size, we're looking for an 11. 11 and a half, if you want to just be safe. No, no, I'm actually a 10 and a half. So an 11 is perfect. We got all oh, the burger, the Krabby Patty oh, on the those back. Those are so sick with like the Patrick backing. That is just like so cute all the way around. I am a big fan of these. Okay, so we're gonna be wow. picking these up for sure. This is trip has been, man, Walmart has been killing it. Target's been killing it. If you guys haven't seen that hunt, they killed it. <laughs> Dude, these are, I don't know if these are my favorite or these slip-ons that are the SpongeBob and Patrick. But I you think have those to, are just so like encompassing and everything. This Cause you have so the, the pink here, the orange here for the pineapple here. You got the whole conch straight there, the Krabby Patty, the Patrick, like said Patrick's like floral pattern there. Oh, the only thing they're missing is some squid representation. The inside is Patrick's house. Like, oh, dude, you're right. You have pineapple. the pineapple and then Patrick on the inside oh, here. Man. That is sweet. That is so so, and then you have the pineapple here on the tongue. And then what do we have on this one? Okay, this one's a pineapple too, I think. It makes me want to get a pair. <laughs> okay, so that was an amazing pickup. And Mitchell, I feel bad because Mitchell, we look for My Mitchell. My sizes just don't exist, bro. <laughs> they don't have Mitchell's size. Like, I wouldn't even mind getting something like this. Like, the Pokemon ones are really sick, too. You gotta probably go to, like, the Lakers store. Yeah. And, like, get a basketball player. Mitchell's got, look at these beat up fans. <laughs> look at my beat up shoes, dude. <laughs> I have so many shoes that are collectible. The shoes I physically wear, you know, you gotta spend that money on collect. Like, there's the highest they go is 12, and I'm like, Darn, it doesn't fit me. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mitchell. No, it's fine. But we did get these SpongeBob cool. shoes. We're gonna be picking these up. I mean, dude, from the TMNT pickups here, like exclusive stuff. Like this is stuff that's only gonna be around right now. I'm so glad we picked this up. We got this freaking nunchucks again, only gonna be around for a limited time at retail. We got the, I mean, I'll go through it all when we get back home, but man. The freaking, shoes were just insane like The shoes were definitely the killer item for today, along with, of course, Stimpy. The net for Walmart though, that was the winner. Next up, we have the SpongeBob Monday. Only nine bucks. Versus Friday shirt. I would get this one, but it's not really my color. Wise. I'll take one. Then. You get it. There you go. Perfect. <laughs> the double XO. You know, I wear gray. Hell yeah. I definitely love this shirt. It is a very good SpongeBob day it right now. It is a super good SpongeBob day. And then we also got the Ren and the Stimpy today, too. And that was not cheap. So I'm not to be very more limited on what I pick out. But dude, that is an awesome shirt, too. I love the detail on the, the Monday picture, especially. Is that not like the most Garfield thing, too? Yeah. He's like, Monday, Friday. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so it turns out I am gonna be getting the SpongeBob shirt. We started walking out and I was like, I can't leave it. It's just so cool. <laughs> I can't leave it, so we're getting this one. Even if you just collect it, you know, I'll wear mine. <laughs> <laughs> but since they're pretty much the same cost, I was just like, okay, well, if I'm gonna get the air fresheners, I might as well get the t-shirt, because the t-shirt's a little cooler. And Mitchell, I'm gonna try to get one of Mitchell's uh, air fresheners here. I'm gonna buy it off Absolutely. if I have to. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna get the air fresheners. I have one to document it, and we get the t-shirt. I think this was an amazing trip. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> we also Between the Stimpy and the shoes, man. Exactly. We did another hunt right before this that ended up getting pretty pricey as well, too. So stay tuned for that video if you haven't already seen it. If it's coming out, stay tuned for it. If it's already out, go check it out. Okay, so shout out to Mitchell. He's going to actually be getting this for his fiance. So that's a sick pickup, too. I spotted it as we were walking out. The anchor. I said I spotted it because I want to get a look up, you know, points. Yeah, well, because, like, we were, like, joking, like, oh, yeah, there's probably some women's, like, SpongeBob clothing. It's like, oh, there is. One. I was like, oh, that's so yeah. sick. I love the color on it, too. I wish they had this for men's, which is best friends as well, too. Super cute. Okay, so we are back from Walmart, and we got everything that we need. We'll take a look at that all one at a time. But we started off with this guy right here, the Stimpy. And it's going to hurt me to do it. Not really. <laughs> As if it hurt you to do the other two. <laughs> we got it open. The seal, brand new, first hand to lay on it. Grabbing him by his teeth there. We got Stimpy. And man, he is probably one of the most thick ones we've ever had. He's even thicker than Patrick. <laughs> Look yeah, at that huge. caboose. 
I mean, he is pretty famous for that caboose. But I've been leaving the bands on all of them. So they all have this band on them, like brand new. I guess I'm going to leave that on there just because it gives it the vibe of, like, you oh know, still God. being fresh in the collection. Sorry, I just thought they had armpit hair. He does? Oh my goodness. That is beautiful. See, like, you know, when you, see, you get some SpongeBob, expect it to be cute, expect it to be adorable. But when I get something Ren and Stimpy, I expect it to be deranged. Yeah. <laughs> the people that made the show, you know, definitely the things get pretty crazy. So if I'm going to get a Ren and Stimpy plushie, I want it to be kind of weird, you know? You actually have his uvula hanging inside of there. That is weird. Don't his, do that. <laughs> <laughs> then you've got his tongue actually coming out here as well. It's just very Ren and Stimpy-esque. And then you've got his hands there with the classic white gloves on them. Very cute. Let's go ahead and take the pull string out of here, though, so we can check it out. So you must go into the secret hole and grab the secret thing, turn on the secret on switch, put it back in the secret hole, and now let's do the test. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Look at that tongue wobbling. <laughs> let's go ahead and pull the nose booger out. It's like a little bungee cord. Yeah, it must be like some kind of elastic inside of there that makes it work, but it is just so cute. It is an attention to detail. And then his teeth themselves are actually made out almost like a rich man's jacket material. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know those guys that walk around with those like NASCAR jackets but never braced a NASCAR? Yeah. <laughs> it's just like one of those jackets. It's really nice. So we're going to be adding him into the collection for sure, but I already know he's going to fit in so good down here with Garfield. Put Odie a little bit more over here. He just works in so good with the rest of the collection. It's such a big piece to add more representation to the collection. It's very easy for us to find like bigger SpongeBob products and add so much representation to the collection for SpongeBob, but we've got a lot of that. So it's really cool to see like a Ren and Stimpy product in general come out this modern that really just kind of fills in this section and says like, hey, he likes more than just SpongeBob. <laughs> I do. I do. He's my favorite, hands down. But <laughs> I do love showing representation of my other favorite childhood shows. And Ren and Stimpy is definitely one of them. A beautiful piece here. And I'm talking a lot about it, but it's just because I'm extremely excited. Let's check out the rest of the stuff. All right, next up we have is the mac and cheese. And you guys can see this is awesome because it's a Walmart brand at great value. Typically, you'd expect it to be from like crafts, you know, them do like the licensed stuff. But Walmart has become such a big brand, even their in-store brand, great value you can get collaborations such as TMNT. I feel like maybe the pizza was even great value. I can't remember 100% sure, but I feel like maybe that was too. And the last great value product I can remember that they've also had those licenses. They made Nickelodeon slime ketchup that was yeah. green, kind of like the old uh, Shrek or uh, Easy Squirt. But this one right here is awesome because not only does it say TMNT original, there's no advertising about the actual mac and cheese inside. We presume they were just mac and cheese, but I opened up another box here so we could try them out and you will see they are actually in TMNT shapes. You've got Donatello right here, you've got Raphael right there, and then you've got Donatello right there, the staff. I looked through a lot of them and I could not find a Leonardo one, but I presume he may be in there. But we are gonna taste test the Great Value Mac and Cheese. I already got some made, so let's go ahead and try out the Great Value Mac and Cheese, see if it turns out being good, but most more than that, let's just see how the mac and cheese looks together as a Ninja Turtle setup. Okay, so we have them right here. This bowl is actually from my childhood the ones that I grew up with my mom gave me. I can't really tell who is who once they get expanded, you know? But they definitely look like little people. <laughs> so that makes it fun to eat. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get a nice little stack here. Mmm. I mean, compared to Kraft, I guess. If somebody gave me that and told me it was Kraft, I wouldn't say they're lying. It tastes pretty much the same as like Kraft mac and cheese. All right, so for the mac and cheese. Wait, what, what, what are you rating it? How many turtles? How many whatever you want to break them off of? Mm. Remember that old dinosaur that used to be the mac and cheese mascot? I'm gonna give these seven of that guy out of 10. Pretty <laughs> solid, I, I enjoyed it. Solid, very good mac and cheese. But maybe I'm just really hungry. That's why I give it a seven. Okay, so I'm gonna go get a spoon real quick. I'm gonna try the yogurt as well. But Mitchell's got some pitos here. Let's go ahead and try some pitos. I got the crunchy, fiery lime, some more lime. Yeah, we'll see how you like these. Not bad, not bad. It's like, um, yeah, I see what you mean. It's like a little less spicy than Cheetos, but it's still good. Yeah. Let's see how these pizza rings are. All right, pizza ring going down. Oh, yeah. Yeah, those are good. Those are solid. Yeah, I'd say these are, I give these an eight and these a six. Okay, eight and a six. Yeah. Eight solid. That's pretty good. Yeah, I ranked those number one as well, too. So right here, we have the lemon lime yogurt. Not gonna lie, I'm not a huge fan of lemon lime, but I like yogurt. So maybe that'll counteract the lemon limeness. So let's go ahead and try this out. I can use six. Yeah, I love they actually have the TMNT characters on the actual top of the box there. All the way around the actual design too is cool. You predict it'll be green? I do predict it's gonna be green. I can kind of see through a little. I guess, yeah. Ooh, Ooh 
Ooh. it's that sick green too. It's like Trick's yogurt where like one side was probably yellow and one side was probably green. That is sick. It looks perfect, like actual ooze. So let's try this. <laughs> what happened to your spoon? <laughs> what is wrong with it? What even what's wrong with it? It looks like Alakazam ended up. <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong? Oh yeah, well I had ice cream in my refrigerator. I was trying to get the ice cream out and it was really frozen. So it just bent the spoon a little. <laughs> so it just takes a little bit more of a leverage. <laughs> so let's get some of that. Mmm. I don't like lemon. I was really wanting to like this. I really wanted to like it so bad. Let me try one more bite. I love lemon, but I don't like lime. It's just lemon lime doesn't work as yogurt. Yeah, it tastes like Sprite if it was yogurt. Oh, that's it, weird. It's not that good. The, the packaging, beautiful. The color of it, amazing. If they would have made it green apple, oh, that would have been terrific. Even green grape would have been good. But that lemon lime does not hold as a <laughs> yogurt. I mean, maybe you'll enjoy it, but for me, I'm gonna give it, because of the packaging, the marketing, the $2.50 price tag, I'm gonna give it a six. But the flavor is what's keeping it from a 10. So next up here, we have the SpongeBob Boating License Air Freshener. So Mitchell got these and I got one of them from him so I could preserve this one. But on average, the air freshener Fresheners for SpongeBob stuff, air fresheners in general, aren't super collectible. You can get super old ones for dirt cheap. So I figured better get the shirt rather than get this one because older shirts get the harder and harder they are to get. Whereas air fresheners are a little bit easier. But this one is perfect to preserve the artwork on and just how cool it is. You get SpongeBob's actual license there. And you can see, even though he is considered an asexual being, he didn't have a sex, it does say male on there. His hair is yellow. I don't see any hair there, but we did see him style it that one time. So yeah. I guess he does have hair. Eyes blue, height four inches like less than four inches and he weighs a one ounce but i like that the expiration is 2003 because i mean that's like probably a couple years before after the episode aired you know yeah and then you have the spongebob squarepants signature there as well with united a shell the bikini bottom logo bikini bottom driver's license i love how you get a license for just the city like <laughs> <laughs> bikini bottom city like when we get a license kid here it's like, oh california license driver's license it doesn't just say like oh rancho cucamonga driver's license you know <laughs> <laughs> it's not just like the city, but there. Just Bikini Bottom that gives out the licenses. It'd be sick though to have a little like Hollywood license or something. <laughs> yeah, that would be kind of collectible at that point. It's a good thing they didn't do that. So really, really fun one. I'm glad they added this. We have one, which is a SpongeBob one. We've already added the collection before, but I think this is my favorite one they've ever released being his driver's license itself. And if the police ever say, hey, hey license registration, buddy, pull it down. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> looks just like me. Okay, so next up, we got the nunchucks of Michelangelo here. Now, this is a big one for me because when we went to Spirit Halloween, with the Michelangelo costume, they actually show these weapons with the costumes. So I was hoping we'd be able to find Mikey's nunchucks at Spirit Halloween. But nonetheless, they didn't sell the actual nunchucks. They were using the ones in this product in the image. So finally, we got them. We have Mikey's official nunchucks to add to the collection. Just a really, really cool piece. Again, as a Michelangelo collector, I guess you would say this is a perfect one to add and we also got the ninja star in there and it's weird because all of them come with one donatello ninja star michelangelo ninja star leonardo ninja star Raphael. they're like hey you're already getting two things buddy you think we're gonna give you a ninja star for free get out of here <laughs> so i i don't understand how he got robbed of his ninja star but nonetheless i'm just happy we got one in the collection here still solid <laughs> and for this one it has a mask of the ninja star one nunchuck i'm giving it a seven and a half out of ten michelangelo nunchucks okay now Next up here, we have best item of today, debatably, the SpongeBob sneakers. Yay. Yes, these things are absolutely fire. We have a couple pairs here in the collection. Let me go grab my second favorite pair now. Ah, oh, man, that's because I don't know. It's tough. They do need a little dusting, but right here we have the slip ons, which are SpongeBob Ooh. Patrick themed. Pineapple, Patrick shorts, and you got SpongeBob and Patrick on the inside there. Just an amazing setup, and I love the fact that you get Patrick and SpongeBob in one shoe. And I also wear slip-ons. I yeah. wear slip-ons the majority of the time because I don't like tying my shoes. And I didn't learn the song. You make a loop de loop and pull and your shoes are looking good. I like the whole coloring system. The choice for the rainbow tie-dye was an interesting one, but we have the awesome little charms here for SpongeBob, which is like, the, I'm gonna say this is the official SpongeBob doing the Walmart thing. Like every time Walmart makes a product, you a lot of times it's this pose for some reason, but <laughs> very, very awesome charm. I love it. Just the idea of charms in general are really cool on shoes. The Patrick is adorable as ever. The outline is, that's like season one Patrick yeah. right there. It looks so cool. Then of course you've got Constry 
concrete on there. Beautiful side, of course, always. And like we showed off, they have the Krabby Patty back there. It just has references all over the shoe. Rather than being like maybe a themed shoe like that one was, this one's just like a shotgun of SpongeBob vibes. You know? And it even has like this faux leather on the side here for the actual yellow. I mean, I don't know. What do you think? This, this shoe or the other one? I gotta say I like these more just because like the inside, you know, the pineapple on the, the tongue, the, the yeah. charms are cool, I mean. And then you just get Con Street. It's tough to beat. It's the tough Patrick to beat. on the back right there, the little flowers. Like, it's so hard. Yeah. It's so tough, but man, I'm glad patties. we picked them up. I'm gonna say this. And don't miss me saying this. Are you ready? I'm ready. Those are cooler to wear. These are cooler to collect. What was that? I missed that, sorry. I said be <laughs> ready <for that. laughs> Yeah. I feel like the other ones, I could see myself wearing those. You know, like a nice black outfit with like a six SpongeBob and Patrick related shirt. And then those shoes on would look so clean. I wouldn't yeah. do that because I only got one pair. But these, they're just like having the collection. Somebody looks at them and there's just so many layers to it. You know, from Constry, the Krabby Patty, all the stuff we just talked about. I feel like these are a better pair to collect. So I'm going to give them a 9 out of 10. You know what? 10 out of 10. I can't deny that there is just so many layers that they did to this that they definitely didn't have to for 25 bucks. And the company that makes these and makes all of these is called Ground Up. I want to see what other shoes they've done because these are just really cool and they keep making these awesome SpongeBob shoes. So awesome pickup here. Probably the best one up today. But we got one more item here and I'm glad I didn't leave it behind. We have the SpongeBob t-shirt. And again, I don't usually wear this color gray, but you know what? Even if I just have it in the collection here, <laughs> I will. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We have Monday, Friday. So we have today, which is today actually, but I'm more like this guy. Today was very Friday. And also I think that's another reason why I was thinking about leaving is I'm never really this guy. Like I'm always happy. Like even if like the day is like a bad day, I try to go into it with this energy and usually the day would try to follow suit. But if you go into the day like this guy, you're just asking for a bad day. Yeah. You know, <laughs> like that's just, of course your day is going to be bad if you walked out like that. <laughs> and again, I know some days you just feel like this. Every Everybody feels like this some days, but as with time, I've just found that even if you're just trying to smile through the pain, you know, yeah. <laughs> sometimes that just makes the day come out better. But nonetheless, we still have it. I did pick it up just to have it in the collection, merely because I love the detail on this one up here. This is a very general image we see a lot, but this one you don't see every day. So I'm glad I picked it up nonetheless. And it was only nine dollars, which is a closer look. Nine bucks ain't bad for a shirt at all. And we will give this nine Garfields out of ten for eight dollars. And if you don't understand why we chose Garfield for that, then stick around and watch the channel more. All right, so next up we have Mitchell's shirt here, and this is the best friend design. And personally, I think this one is probably cooler because it's a unique design. You don't see this design, well, I've never seen it ever, really. You have the waves, you have the anchor there. Really, really cute. I'm gonna go ahead and say, I don't know, uh, how much was it, $8 too? Yeah, same price. I'll give it 10 out of 10 for having a unique design on it. I love the heart and everything, yeah, it's so cute. Yeah, exactly, I wouldn't have expected them to drop a different shirt, like I, I would have expected them to just put the same shirt, just in female sizes, you know? Yeah. So the fact they made a unique design that feels definitely more feminine, I think is a cool piece, so 10 out of 10 on screen for that one. Okay, then last up here, not a big item, but we have the SpongeBob Good to Grow. I have a lot of these in the collection, I really have to take a good picture of all of them because sometimes I forget which ones we have and which ones we don't because don't they have we, an app for this. They don't. They have for the pods. For the oh, pods, they the pods, do. Yeah. But I don't think they have an app. Well, you have to do. Download our app, collector's app. <laughs> okay, so I guess they do have an app. Maybe I should download that app. But I always forget which ones I have and which ones I don't have, but I know I've never seen this one before in our collection. So I'm hyped that we picked this one up to add to it. And like I said, small piece, but always a, always you can always count on the good to grow. If you can't find anything else, you can always count on the good to grow to have at least something awesome when it comes to the figure drink bottles. But that was an incredible pickup from Walmart. That was amazing. I never expect Walmart to go that crazy, but they really blew me away today. So shout out to Walmart bringing in all the Spongebob merch. We want to see more of it. Keep putting out there and we'll keep picking it up. So stick around. We're going to add some stuff to the collection here. For that, you know the drill. Scan it. So for Michelangelo's nunchucks, we're gonna add that with the greater TMNT collection. Like I said, guys, I'm gonna be doing a complete Ninja Turtles collection once we get to that point. But man, man, am I excited that we picked these up. Shout out to Mitchell for giving me one of his air fresheners so we can archive one in the collection, SpongeBob's driver's license. So I'm adding that in right over here, inside of our files to go inside of the filing cabinet. Okay, for the SpongeBob good to grow, I need to get all the other ones out of the vault because now that we have more space for the food inside, I am like so hyped 
to have more space for the food collection because I want to just keep archiving this stuff and get as much of this stuff released as possible. So we have the Good to Grow right here with all the other SpongeBob drinks you guys can see, including the uh, Pap Waters. And for the Ninja Turtles mac and cheese and also the lemon lime yogurt, I'm gonna put these right here next to the actual cereal that's for TMNT as well. And again, this is not really for display as much as it is just for archiving all of them. So that way we have them in the collection and can keep on adding to it. Okay, and Stimpy, we're adding right in here. You guys already saw him there, but man, does he fit in so good. And I can't wait to hopefully add Ren in here as well too. And I really just wanna do this whole bottom line of just these plushies. Cause again, they're so high quality. They're such big profiles of the characters too. I would love to have that bottom section just to represent so many different shows and then have that side have SpongeBob ones. And I know there's at least one more SpongeBob one that we need to get. So I'm gonna be on the lookout for that. And then we've got a couple of the other Nickelodeon ones as well. And hopefully they keep releasing more, honestly. All right, beautiful people. So that is actually it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you guys hit the like button, subscribe if you're new here. And also don't forget we are on Patreon. It's number one way to help us keep the lights on in the cavern. So go check it out. You get an extended version of this video and also every other video that we upload on YouTube. Link will be in the description. And as well, don't forget I'm on Whatnot every single Friday where you'll get $15 off your first pickup, which includes a bunch of different collectibles, including in my own shows that we have on Fridays, as I said. So definitely take advantage of the free $15. Go find yourself something nice on the site to add to your collection. But not just that, I'll see you guys over here in this video that I know you're gonna love. But as always, Rat Pack, thank you so much for being the amazing people you are. And I'll see you, beautiful people, in the next one. Adios and bloop.